Some people say we're all connected. All part of some bigger picture. Some harmonious flow, endless and meaningful. Maybe that's how it looks from a distance. But up close, with eyes open, I see no evidence of any spiritual choreographer at work. No, I see nothing but the random fractals of a selfish, queenless hive. Never looking, never stopping, never meeting. Don't get me wrong, yeah? I'm not judging anyone. I mean, I want to get home as fast as the next person. But is it my unwavering selflessness that allows others to go before me? Or the selfish knowledge that the last one will be the first off? Oh, come on. Who would fool themselves to believe anything but the latter? Idle minds, too lazy to think beyond the following of the herd. Like it or not, life's a sinister competition, an endless series of choices, large or small, each with its own set of probabilities. All wind. Now that is an 80% chance this is my train. It's worth a dash. Excuse me, uh, this train... Random variables. Never underestimate the human factor. Bond Street. I'm sorry, mate, that's my train. Bond Street, here. Look, it's on the other platform, mate. Platform, please. Just through there. Thank you. There's two cars out, the rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. And here they are. The most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life. With a bunch of metal bimbos. <sighs> Look at you, my beauty. You could keep me in college for over a decade. Care for the way he saturates it with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys to me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her, fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions, that's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit. Forget something? Not exactly. Um, I'm sorry about before, you know, just assuming like that. Oh, ignore him. He was being an arsehole. <laughs> Think your boyfriend's an arsehole? <laughs> Don't you? But, uh, he does have a nice car. <laughs> what are you reading? Just a little bit of light study. <laughs> Looks pretty heavy to me. <sighs> 
Can I help you with something? Ah, uh, I need a favor. I need the keys to the Maserati. Does Dr. Brent know? Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you won't mind signing for it then. <laughs> okay, he doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. It's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. Okay. Good boy. What's in it for me? I'll owe you one. One what? One favor. Oh, I know you're good for your favors. You can bank my favors. Fuck. Look, no more fast cars tonight, all right? Turn around. Slowly. Now get over it. Smile. Now get in the car. Oi, dickhead. Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're gonna do. So I can go now, right? You stay right where you are. Look, I'm a fucking student. Okay, I've got no money. My family's got no money. I'm worth nothing to you. You're done now. Get in the house. We checked your gear. Just want to make sure I look the part. And I want to make sure we're all checking gear, Simon. Who the fuck is that? It's the night guard. What happened to your arm? He fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place, kidnapping the first innocent bystander. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus Christ. And who the hell's gonna drive it? Because you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and everyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. You have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice ball? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. You need to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes. Call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get hold of that you know, Irish Let's Pete. Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. I'm not a murderer, I don't intend to start now. Pass me diphenoxin and a couple of cable ties. Diphenoxin? What the fuck is that? Gets rid of headaches like you. Your headache's gonna start the moment you knock me out. And why is that? Because your mate on the couch there, he may have brought you the BMW, but he's brought it here with a valet key. A valet key, what the fuck is that? It's a parking key. It means you can't drive faster than 35 miles an hour. 
Not great for a getaway car, is it? And why do you think it's a getaway car? Your face? Is this fucking right about the key? It puts a block on the electrics, but we can sort it. No, you can't. You can't do it without triggering the immobiliser. But I can. Well, you can. Yeah, certainly can. Looks like you just bought yourself a ticket and bought this operation. Are you serious? Are you going to go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, we're not going to see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr. Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. And what do I get in return? Well, don't push your luck. So what's the plan? This is what's going to happen. I'll double up on Lee's position. And this guy, what's your name? Matt. Matt, sticks with Mei Ling. You take up the slack. Super. Okay, we need to get moving. We need to be at the auction house before nine. Got this one. You're joking. We'll find you something. <laughs> I think you need to tell me what we're doing here. Nerve going already? I'd just like to be prepared, that's all. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choi's are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So we're here to help them get it back? We're here to stop them getting it back. I presume we're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when there are far more worthy causes in the world. What in your worthy cause are you? Welcome to Hainsworth's. The second part of the auction has just begun. Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. Nine twenty. Nine twenty. Thank you. I see you. Nine thirty. Again to my left. Nine forty. Do I hear nine forty? Nine forty. Thank you, sir. Looking for nine fifty. 9.50 to my left. Do I hear 9.60? Fair warning. I'm selling. 9.50 once. 9.50 twice. So, for 950,000 pounds, this marvelous 12th century cabinet with its hidden compartment, which is... Just try to keep your powder dry, eh? I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. Sorry. Why don't you try not talking at all? And so we come to what I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Tran. Katie. What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Downstairs now, mate. Is the ball there? One of only three beautiful pieces remaining is. examples okay, great. of the red the phoenix time. pattern known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece, the sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Parr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. 
like it. And he can't afford it. What did we say about that? Okay. And so, we shall begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Two million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four to the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bidding. What the fuck are you doing? Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five I'm looking for. Thank the sale you, price, don't on the phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? Six I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do I now hear seven? Seven I have to the lady. Please Thank you, stop ma'am. bidding. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight I'm looking for. Eight with you, sir, to your bid. Looking for nine. Matt, stop her. Do I hear nine, nine I'm looking for? Nine in the room. Nine to the lady. Thank you, madam. Christ I'm almighty. looking for nine five, ladies and gentlemen. Nine five. Nine five. Nine five to my right. So do I hear ten? Matt, stop this. Don't talk to him, talk to me. We're looking to break ten. Thank you, madam. Are you out of your Ten we mind? have. We are at eight figures in the room, ladies and gentlemen. Ten is your bid, madam. It's against you now, sir. So do I hear ten five? You are so getting lumbered with this. Ten five. Ten five I have. Thank you. Now do I hear eleven? Eleven I have with the lady. I'm gonna Again, have a thank time. you, madam. Do you have a eleven is your bid, madam. Yeah, gut feeling. Eleven, okay. so because you know price. We have eleven five. Logarithmic curve, derivative eleven approaching five. zero. So the chances of getting away with another bid. bid. At eleven, madam. Well, eleven five. Half percent. Trust me. Eleven five. Eleven five I have. Thank you very much, sir. Eleven There's five. No it's your bid. It's against you now, madam. Bid. It's against you, sir. Eleven five. Eleven five with you, sir. Fair warning. I'm selling. Twelve million I have. Thank you, madam. Twelve it is. So do I hear twelve five? Twelve five I'm looking for. Twelve five. It's your bit at twelve, madam. Looking for twelve five. Twelve five. Twelve five I have to my right. Thank you, sir. Twelve five. So do I hear thirteen? It's against you now, madam. Twelve five. Are we all out? At twelve five. Fair warning. I'm selling. Twelve five once. Twelve five twice. So to the gentleman on my right for twelve and a half million pounds. Thank you very much. Let's get this. The wall doesn't turn on mathematics, you know. Yeah, well, mine does. Well, maybe that's your problem. Right now, you're my bloody problem. A problem that just increased your cut by about 25%? Now that's mathematics. All right, where to? The basement. Jeffrey's going to call the lift from downstairs. OK, and then? Then you're going to take out the security guard. I'm sorry, I'm going to do what? Just follow Jeffrey's instructions, darling. We're a couple, remember? So what do I do? Do I play along and try and get out of this later? Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? Out of all of the probabilities, how did I end up here? Simon gives the word, move out into the middle of the corridor and wait for the guard to come to you. Just say you got lost looking for the box. Simon, where's the guard's image? He's not going to believe that. I'll handle that. Ready? Yeah, ready. Go. Alert the guard or let this play out. Okay, Matt, go. Stop right there, sir. This is a restricted area. 
What do you think you're doing down here? I, I got lost coming out the lift. No, this floor's staff only. Oh, I was, uh, I was looking for the toilet. No, you wouldn't have come down here unless you meant to. Simon, we're at the door. Okay, you have to enter both codes simultaneously. Got it? Okay, timing is key here. The left keypad is 309220. Okay, punch in the right code and I'm good. Got it. Now both hit enter at the same time. Okay, three, two, one. Got it, we're in. Thanks, mate. I'll take him with you. Simon, I'll come to the front to get you. expect this to go that smoothly. I have to admit, I wouldn't have thought you'd live up to the task. Well, thanks, I guess. And as far as I can see, you're beginning to like playing this game. Yeah, I definitely shouldn't, though. Gentlemen, we are back in society. Let me see it. I want to see the bulb. Just wait. This thing stays in the bag until it gets Wu's place and he turns it into money. Too fucking right. You gotta take the left. It's on Shoreditch High Street. Hong Kong City restaurant. It sounds classy. What are we gonna do about this comedian? Give him to me. I'll pop. Whoa, hold on. Not here. Just keep him quiet until we get rid of this bowl. Jeffrey, you're not serious. There should be some gaffer tape in the back somewhere. Look out! Mailing. Mailing, can you hear me? Open your eyes. Okay, there's petrol. Look, we've got to get out. All right? 
Come on. We need to get away from here. To, Woos, to finish what you started. Mr. Woos? Yeah, well, that was the plan, wasn't it? What do you want to do, Mei Ling? Do you want to stay here? Mei Ling? Look at me. Look at me. You can't not decide, okay? You have to do something. So look, come the fuck on, okay? We've got to go. Welcome to Hong Kong City. Table for two. We're, uh, we're here to see someone. Table for four? Four on me, please. It's going well. Excuse me. We, uh, we don't want to eat. No problem. Bar this way. Four on me, please. No, no, no. Mate, mate, mate. We want to see the manager. You want to see the manager? We want to see the manager. You're not even eating? No. Your health inspector? No. Look, it's Mr. Wu here. Mr. Wu? Mr. Wu, yeah. Never heard of Mr. Wu. Well, how about the Queen, mate? You heard of her? Memory clearing. You listen to me. Tell Mr. Wu that Mei Ling and Jeffrey are here to see him. You tell him right now, or you can pay the consequences. Okay. You? Wait right here. Have fortune cookie. Fortune does not come twice. Misfortune does not come alone. Didn't know any better. I say you picked that one on purpose. What does yours say? Not tell him. Four on me, please. Tell me. No. Could they while you're gunning your yet to my goal? That's him. Go ahead. What's your business? Lord, this is the house of the house. 
Why have you brought this here? Because we had a deal. I made no such deal. I have never seen you before. Look, the man who made the deal is dead, okay? That's why we brought you your bow. My bow? Atam, turn by Asia where? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Managing to steal that bow. Quite impressive. But choosing to steal it in the first place is nothing short of insanity. We stole this for you. I gave no such order. Not to you or anyone else. What? To steal that bowl is not only madness, it is also suicide. To the Choi family, possession of that bowl is a question of honor. They have fought wars for it. Its price is beyond measure. And I know how much they paid for it tonight. And I do not intend to add my life to the bill. Now get out! If you know how much they paid, then you know your 20% is a lot higher than you thought it would be. You want us out of here because you don't want to pay what you promised. I did not order its theft. The only order I am giving is to you. Get out of my restaurant! No. Fuck you. You owe us money and you know it. You made a deal for this. Take it. We don't want it. Goodbye. We will not meet again. Fuck you. Come on, Matt. Let's go. Fuck you. I still want to know what my fortune cookie said. Sure. A young man may trust his ears, but a wise man trusts his heart. Did you know about the choice? How dangerous they are? You fucking did, didn't you? You knew everything Wu just told us, and yet you still bid against them and stole their damn bowl. This doesn't really help us, does it? It was the choice that ran us off the road. We need a plan. What do you suggest? Hiding until we come up with one. Okay. Okay, let's go. One number room, please. Name? Smith. Smith. Really? I panicked. Did you believe Wu? That he knew nothing about the job? He looked convincing, didn't he? Yeah, but that's not what I asked you. <sighs> no, I didn't watch this conversation, mate. I don't know. I thought we were delivering the ball for 20% job done. 
I should be back at home by now, soaking in the bath. What? There's no bath. Somebody must want this thing. Why has no one tried to contact us? Is there any way we can get to just phone messages? Or, or, or what about that place in Chelsea? Maybe they've tried to contact us there. Just shut up, could you? Why'd you do that? Because I felt like it. Where is it? I don't know. I don't. I don't know where it is. We've all had a very long night. If you don't come to your senses, I can assure you that yours will come even longer. Where is the ball? Look, I haven't got it. Okay, it was taken from me and now I don't know where it is. Lies. Look, I haven't got your fucking rice bowl. Or... Disrespect, we're punished. Now for the final time, where is the real ball? I, I don't understand. Where is the ball you took from the auction, not the copy you had in your pocket? The original. The original ball that you stole, where? What the fuck is that? You know where the ball is. You and your lady friend. Next door. Both of you know. 
One of you would tell. What have you done to her? So you admit you're a partnership with her? Uh, what have you done to her? L L what the fuck is this? What have you done to her? I don't understand what the fuck you're saying to me. Ball equals pain. The longer you have bowled, the longer you have pain. Very simple mathematics. Fuck! Fucking hell. No, I haven't got your fucking rice right bowl, okay? Fuck! I don't care if you have it or your girl. The ball is ours. First to tell truth is free. The other is punished. The classic prisoner's dilemma, game theory first term. Whatever I tell them lives or dies on what Mei Ling tells them, and vice versa. If our answers are inconsistent, one of us dies. Choose. What? Choose punishment. Know your fate. The, the short one. Quick death, but painful. Dagger does not go in far, but when it's removed, the barbs tear the intestines. Sweat them. Death comes within an hour. I thought you said it was quick. Where is the bull? The original bull. Can I trust her to be reasonable? Or will she keep quiet? Because if she does that, she dies. Look, look, I am genuinely telling you. Okay, I know nothing about swapping the original for a fake. Okay, I, I was forced to be part of the robbery. I had no choice. I, I, I knew nothing about the plan apart from what to do next. There is nothing I can tell you that's of any use. You're just wasting your time with me. That's the absolute truth. Gong Dai Wa. Where is the original? Do we repeat? I don't know. Second round, like I thought, the girl kept quiet. Where? She following the strategy. If I get this wrong, the mailing gets one of those knives through the stomach. God, I don't know. What can I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> this can only continue. Where is the original? Fuck you! <laughs> oh, fuck! Every finger. And every knuckle continuing every joint you will see daylight but still it will continue where is the original then I'll see you in the fucking morning mate <laughs> Go, <John. laughs> The lady says you lie to us. That you're the only one who knows where it is. Oh, for fuck's sake! Can we please speak in fucking English? I didn't say you're the only one who knows where it is. I said you're the only one who can get to it. It's okay. Decided. You bring us the ball, she stays as hostage. If you fail, she dies. <laughs> it's Paul. The one who fucked us. He fucked us all. How do you know that? Because I'm the one who forged the copy for him. Oh, fuck me.
Enough. Time to go. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I'm sorry. Where's the original? I don't know. done to us. What the hell is he playing at? Rich fucking bastard. What the fuck am I doing? Am I really doing this? Just keep moving. Fuck, I really have no time for this. Hey! Is there a bus stop this way, mate? Honestly, mate, I've got a bus to catch, all right? You've got a bus to catch, have you? If you ask me, smoke boy. <laughs> For the police. That's okay. We're just having a laugh, aren't we? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Blimey, that guy Lily choked me. The auction guy, Jeffrey, nearly strangled. He had access to the bowl after the expert on stage had it, right before we stole it. Right, how do I find him? Sorry to call this late, but um, it's Sebastian at home. Uh, who's speaking, please? It, it, it's um, it, it's Stan from work. I, I heard he was in an accident. Is he alright? Is he at home? No, no, he's not well. He's been taken to the hospital. He has a serious concussion. It's horrible. Um, I, I'm really sorry to hear that. Where did they take him? They took him to St. Thomas's, but they won't let me visit until the morning. St. Thomas's, thank you. I'm really sorry this happened. Don't worry, it's not your fault. I'm sorry though. All right, let's pay this poor guy a visit. can see. W weren't you supposed to be going out? But the night somehow started badly. Yeah, well, things would have gotten way worse for you. Oh, don't start. What brings you here? Um, uh, I'm here to see someone. Can you tell me what room Sebastian Le Clark's in, please? Is he here? Uh, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Oh, come on. It's just a room that... What? Like it was just a key? Oh, come on. Good night. Look, this isn't about some entry ticket to some party, yeah? This is way bigger. 
What's so important that you need to see him now? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. I won't believe you if you don't. <laughs> okay. It's because tonight, I was kidnapped by a gang of thieves who forced me to be part of a failed robbery, which has resulted in me being pursued by a gang of homicidal triads who want something that I don't have. And Mr. Clark is the only bloody person who knows where it is. I can't wait till visiting hours. I will be dead by visiting hours. Please. The seventh floor. Room 703, and if you get caught, I've never seen or heard of you. Thank you. They won't let me use the internet. Oh my God. That's how we got the ball at the auction house. No! Now you listen to me, mate. I'm a peaceful man, okay? I do not want to hurt you. But if you try that shit again, I swear to God, the bits of you that hurt are gonna get a whole lot worse. Do you understand me? Do we have a deal? Yes. Good. Now tell me about your deal with Samuel Park. I know you replaced the Paulson Rasper with a forgery. That's a lie. I know what you did, Sebastian. Pa's cabinet. The one he bought right before the bulb was auctioned. The one with the secret compartment. That's right. The forgery was hidden inside before the auction, wasn't it? And then afterwards, you replaced it with the original. You were the only one who could have done it, Sebastian. The only one. Dad, what do you want? What do you want from me? Where's the original? Does Paul have it? If I tell you, you have to promise to tell no one about me. You're kidding, right? If you don't promise, I tell you nothing. I don't have time for this, mate. <laughs> Just you and me now. Now, where's the fucking rice bowl? It's the last time I'm going to ask you nicely. Okay. Okay. I swapped it. I swapped it in the elevator. The original with the forgery, and I hid it. The cabinet. Pa's cabinet I built an auction. There was a secret compartment in it, right? Yes. Is that where it is? Is the bowl still inside? I don't know. This is the truth. The security took everything to the safe storage after the robbery, and they brought me here to the hospital. Safe storage. So it's still inside Hainsworth. Yes. Oh, painkillers, thank Christ. Will this get me into the vault? Yes, if you can get to it, yes. Never here, right? Yes. You never heard about the hidden compartment. Get one soon. Yeah, yeah. Come now.
Sorry, sir, I'll be with you in a moment. No rush. <clears throat> Long flight. How can I help? Here to pick up an item. What lot was it? Uh, it was an item bought last night by Mr. Samuel Parr. No. No, it's not on my list. Do you have your document? I was told my copy will be waiting at this desk. I can't do anything without the lot numbers. There is no way I'm getting away with this. I should have gone straight to Pars in the first place. Where was Hill? Good morning. I have an appointment with Samuel Parr. Mr. Parr does not receive guests before 10 o'clock. I want to see him, and I want to see him right now. Wait here. Mr. Parr? Mr. Parr? This man says uh, that he has Thank you, Willa. I'll take my tea in the study today. Are you intruded at the crack of dawn, my friend? I assume it's urgent. I want the original. The original of what? You know what I'm talking about. Do enlighten me. The rice bowl. The fucking rice bowl. If you're referring to the rice bowl that was stolen from Hainsworth last night, that piece is gone. Lost forever, I fear. That's not true, though, is it? No. Because what was stolen was a copy. The original is safe and in your possession. And you are? Matt. You can call me Matt. Well, Mr. Matt. How did you come by this extraordinary theory? I know that Mailing forged a copy for you, and you organised the robbery. And you have proof to back up this outrageous slander? I don't need proof, mate. We're not in court, are we? I know what I know, yeah? That you fucked up my life for a piece of fucking pottery! Language, dear boy. Don't get confused. And I know about your deal with Sebastian the Clark. Yeah, smuggling the original out of the auction house, hidden inside the wooden chest you bought. This is quite the little work of fiction, isn't it? What do you hope to gain by this? We're going to discuss this sensibly or not? I think perhaps we should discuss it with the police. What do you say to that? Do you have any idea how much that cost? I don't know, mate. As much as this one? Wait. All right. Sensibly in my study. Yeah. Lead on. Where's the bowl? I don't know. Since it was stolen, I've lost track. That's a lie. What do you think the Choys have to say about all of this? <laughs> the Choys will never believe you. I am a respected member of the community, and you clearly are not. <laughs> I'm not leaving here without that fucking bowl! I don't know where it is! I will destroy everything in here. Mr. Parr, is everything all right? Uh, it's fine, Ola. Everything is fine. <laughs> I'm not fucking joking here. I will fuck up everything. I need that bowl. People's lives depend on it. I don't think you'd go that far. You're making a mistake. Oh, to hell with you! Oh. Neither of us are leaving here until I get that fucking bowl! Oh. Stop in the name of God. It's here. The bowl is here. Show it to me. It's in the safe. I collected the chest last night.
This conversation is over. Oh. Fuck you. Ball. You have it. Where? You're dying, but the girl can still live. Where is our ball? We oh, must have it. You. Shoot Alice. Eventually. <laughs> 